On Wednesday, South Carolina held their final practice before they take to the court on Thursday for their first SEC tournament game of the week. And the Gamecocks will be going up against a team they know very well as they've already played Mississippi State twice this season. We'll get to that point in just a minute. But first, what is at stake this week? Well, the obvious for the Gamecocks, which is being able to win an SEC tournament. But on top of that, yes, I know it sounds crazy, but there is still a possibility that the Gamecocks can make the NCAA tournament. They have to be able to at least get three wins and then, well, let the chips fall where they may. On top of that, they also have the opportunity to punch a ticket to the NIT, something that from a resume standpoint, they already have a pretty strong case. They already have a pretty strong case when you look at what they've been able to do, but being able to get a win on Thursday against the Bulldogs would certainly help. But being able to do that, South Carolina going up against this team for a third time. So when you talk to some of the players, what are the pros and cons when you do have to see a team you've already placed twice already this season? Whoever comes out with the most energy is going to win the game. You know, just like the first time we played, I feel like we they punched us in the face and then we didn't respond. You know, the second time I feel like we punched them and they didn't respond. So it's, it's about who's going to attack first and who's going to bring the energy. I just feel like if we bring the energy, we're going to be pretty good. What's your role now? I'm just getting the guys going. I'm, I'm an energy guy. You know, athletic guy. I'm always jumping and running around. So you know, my energy is going to be there. The pros are, uh, you know, we know we have to limit Molinar. And his touches and his uh, his paint touches especially. Um, another pro is, you know, we, we we know we have to we have to shut down their big play at least one of them. They got two really good bigs in there. We have Tolu Smith and, and Garrison Brooks. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's an advantage when they both play at the same time. I think it's an advantage for us, just because Garrison Brooks seems to be more comfortable within the 10 to 15 foot range. Um, you know, it's, he he showed he was more comfortable down there in Starkville. He tore us up pretty good. And so. Uh, you know, when Tolu came back for our, our second matchup, I, you could tell it kind of threw off their, their rhythm a little bit offensively. Um, you know, so I think those are really the, pro, the pros right there. And obviously transition. We get out in transition, we're pretty good, um, pretty hard to beat. But uh, cons would be if the, if the bigs get going, it's, it's going to be a tough night for sure because um, those bigs are problems, man. Garrison Brooks is good. Tolu Smith is really good. Uh, the physical. But uh, like I said, we made some adjustments to um, to counterattack that, um, and that's why we won pretty handily the second second time we played them. They know everything we know, so it's about who's going to play the hardest <laughs> at this point. And I, I feel like we're going to play the hardest. <laughs> it's just coming down to execution. It's just coming down who's going to execute and who's going to play the hardest. Like you said, we all we don't play each other three times. What what is the the, tr the chance of a team playing each other three times in the SEC? So you know, this is about who's just going to play the hardest. That's, a, that's all it is. Thursday night's game will tip off at 6, and you can catch all the action on the SEC Network. Bulldogs go into this game as four-point favorites. Reporting from Emily Arena in Tampa, Florida, Mike Yuva, Gamecock Central.